some guys are here dressed as police officers attempting to deal with this black guy dead. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. How are you? I'm good. So I'm just coming by because uh, we got some calls and you're hanging out here and they asked you to leave. No, I'm actually attending church and reading the Bible. Why are you here? Well, I'm here because we heard that you were asked to leave. So no, I wasn't. Okay. The well, priest is actually, right over there and he has not asked me to leave. Sure. Well, I just talked to uh, talked to the security here and they told me that they want you to leave. That's not what the priest told me. He told me I was welcome to stay. I've been told that you have to leave. So I was just told by the priest that I am welcome to stay. Well, they just told us to Okay, you know he's not the priest. No, no, I don't have to have ID. I suggest you go talk to the priest because he just told me I'm welcome to stay. I do actually have to have you identify yourself. Yeah. Do you have your identification? Nope, I don't have any ID, and I was just told by the priest I'm welcome to stay. So why are you here? What's your on, last name? Why are, why are you on St. Monica's community church property? Because the people that run the church asked us to come here. And he doesn't run the church. That's not the priest. What's your last name? What's your last name? My last name is right here. It's okay. My last name is church attendee so do you you're breaking the law by harassing me on church property um, yes actually you are do you have your it's a law called separation of church and state you cannot remove or harass anyone on church property especially when they're attending church and since I'm attending church services here you have no right to harass me